If you feel like you're striking your driver well, but the ball flight is just too high, the first thing I'd consider is just make sure that it really is a problem. I think a lot of golfers see the ball fly high into the sky and presume they're losing a load of distance. There's enough radar technology and top tracers and flight scopes and things like that on the market now that you should be able to go to a facility and check it out because there's no point you working to reduce your height of driver, your ball flight, and then realizing that actually it wasn't a problem in the first place and now you're hitting it even shorter than you were doing it in, in the first instance. So check that the height of your driver is too high, then you can work on bringing it down. A couple of things we can work on to bring the ball flight down. Firstly is just check the strike location. Get some spray to put on the club face and see whereabouts you're hitting it from. If you're hitting it from the top part of the golf club, then yes, you could be skying the ball and that would be a problem. So what we'd want to see there is that if the um, if the equator of the golf ball is above the top edge of the club, we might be taking the paint off the top of the driver and just hitting sky shot straight up in the air. So if that's a problem, you can resolve that. Two issues there, lower the tee peg down a little bit so that if it's too high and you can see too much club over the top of the ball, I would try and bring that tee peg down slightly. So push it a little bit deeper or maybe get yourself some castle tees that set the height of the ball. Now I can see around about half of the ball above the top of the club, so that's at the right height. The other issue though is just make sure you don't then take a divot. There's no point teeing the ball up at the right height and then smashing the ground underneath the ball taking a divot, which is going to hit the ball too high off the crown anyway. So the tee peg needs to be at the right height. We then need to make sure we're brushing the turf, sweeping the turf with the golf club and not digging in to take too much of a divot. Other issues that might be hitting the golf ball too high would be the club itself. If you've got too much loft on the club head or you've got too much of flex in the shaft, they could be two issues that create too much height. So if you've got a 12, 13, 14 degree lofted driver or a regular or soft flex shaft and you're a fast swinger of the club, you could just be creating too much spin on the golf ball and it's just popping it up too high up into the sky. So make sure you get a good custom fitting to make sure the loft and the shaft flex are suitable for yourself. A couple of other swing changes that you might consider is if you've got the ball too far forwards in your stance, let's say I'm positioning it outside my left little toe as a right-handed golfer, and then I get a lot of body weight on my rear leg here, I'm stood back there, I've got a lot of backward shaft lean, that backward shaft lean is effectively adding loft to that club head, so I've now got too much loft. I then stay on my back leg too much, flick my rear hand underneath it, and it just pops the ball too high up into the sky. And if you feel like you're leaning back and you're scooping the ball too high, that would be a consideration, something you want to change. You want to feel like you just get a little bit more forward on top of the golf ball, presenting a more neutral lofted face rather than a very high lofted face. So if I had this one pegged up a little bit too high, leaning back on it too much with the ball too far forwards in my stance, and then try and hit it from the underneath, I feel like I've hit that ball up, up, up. It's still climbing, now it stalls, and now it comes down. Now it's gone pretty straight, but when it comes down, it feels like it's coming down with snow on it. It's got no forwards momentum. It's not gonna roll. I'm gonna get there and find its pitch mark next to the golf ball. And that shot, particularly into a headwind or a crosswind, could be quite damaging. So let's make sure we've got the right height of shot from our driver, and we're not hitting it too high. And then we can optimize the distance we hit our driver shots.